Hello, hello, everyone. It is Shiki here? And, well, I've got something a little bit special for y'all. Today, I will be doing a sort of lore video. I'm sure some of you have seen a YouTuber lore video before. And kind of been like, oh, okay, that's cool. Mine is not going to be nearly as cool as any of the other lore videos you've seen. I'm not going to have, like, voice acting over, like, a movie or uh, even, like, very detailed descriptive elements of my thing. I'm basically just going to be doing what I always do, sitting here talking to you. I'm not really going to hardcore RP as the character that I am portraying to be either. Honestly, that kind of stuff just kind of makes me cringe a little bit inside. Not that it isn't cool and I don't enjoy seeing it from time to time, but I just, I just can't do that myself. So anyway, I figured I would, uh, tell you all, since I have something that just finished up in the last couple of days. So let's begin, shall we? So this character right here is Shiki. He is a, uh, as you can see, a scientist of some sort. Uh, specifically, he's an alchemist, just your, your normal run-of-the-mill alchemist who uh, you know, researches. You can see on the uh, background behind me here, my laboratory with my Alchemical circles and potions and tonics, all the good stuff there to conduct my experiments and try and figure things out about the world. But, you know, sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. And throughout the years, Shiki has decided that his, his goal is to gain immortality. And so that is what he has been researching for the last couple years or so. A way to, you know, stay forever in this world and all that good. And so that is him. Now, for Shiki, my plan is to play on my, on my Twitch channel specifically. I'll be doing all of my, like, normal games. Like the ones that are, you know, sort of cute, sort of fun. Not necessarily, you know, dark or horror, that kind of stuff. So, you know, you got games like, uh, like I've been playing The Gunk, for example. Or, like... Uh, Assault bots, hell, I could play The Sims if I wanted to, stuff like Halo Infinite, perhaps. Um, just, you know, kind of games that don't really have a dark mood to it, is what Shiki would be playing. Also, Shiki will be continuing on with all the anime discussions, and basically any other real discussion that does not have, like, a, a darker undertone for it, you know? Um, all that kind of stuff. But that's kind of what Shiki's going to be doing here. So... Uh, here's here's the full model. Some of you may have seen it if I like lean too far back, but uh, he has no legs. He's just a floating torso here, right here, just chilling, being a guy. You know, uh, legs would have been more expensive to have done, and uh, I, I did not see the need to get legs that were never going to be shown. So I just slide him down here, so not much of it is actually shown. And you can see here on the um, on his chest, he has the like in Shiki logo on his lab coat. Got, uh, you know, the nice undershirt, the dress shirt thing here. The kind of disheveled tie from, you know, being tired and working all the time. He's got like an under, uh, kind of like a sweater vest kind of thing that goes over the, uh, the dress shirt and underneath the lab coat. And got the little, uh, little glasses here, you know. Got his hair slicked back because he can't be bothered to like style it too well. He just kind of runs it through his fingers and like pushes it back and it's like whatever that's good enough you know all that kind of good stuff so that's Shiki now there's someone new to introduce so give me just one moment here and we will do that although I guess first things first let's uh keep things a bit darker shall we all right now then introducing Lagan. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome. As you can see, things have gotten a bit old and decrepit in my laboratory here. Welcome. Yes, welcome. I am Plagan, the true version of Plagan. The god, you may say. But let me introduce this. Okay, this is Plagan. Hmm. Yes. So while I had said that Shiki is somewhat of an alchemist, Plagin is also an alchemist. However, Plagin is the culmination 
of what Shiki had done. You see, hundreds of years into the future of Shiki's timeline, Plagin is there. Because Plagin is Shiki, just the futuristic form of him. You see, Shiki managed to come up with a way to bring about immortality. Through a fusion of magic, technology, and disease, he gave birth to, well, me, Plagin, as you can see. Now, I love this model. Oh, I do. Look at how glorious he is. Now, really, it's quite simple. And as it is quite simple, I uh, decided to give him the, the lovely benefit of having full body because well it's, it's just a uh, little robe he doesn't have any legs that have to be singly animated Lagan is glorious now as you can see he's just a a robed lich essentially a, a skeleton in a cloak but he has these meaty looking clawed hands that can definitely do some damage if you're not careful and uh it's quite glorious so Plagin is what I call a plague lich. He is a lich that was born immortal thanks to various plagues and diseases and all that kind of stuff. So you see, Shiki finally had the realization that disease is a great killer of people, but perhaps it can be used to grant them immortality too. Yes. So he managed to uncover a strand of disease that, well, regenerates the body constantly at least the mind and the soul, the, the body, the flesh and bone, as you can see, well, not so much. Uh, it kind of falls apart at times if it's not pumped directly with the concoction, which uh, you can see over here on my arm. My arm is constantly being pumped full of the, uh, the, the plague concoction to keep it fleshy, moist, but, uh, my head, not so much. Yes, it, it sort of went to the dogs, you might say. Or skeletal. So, in order to be able to see and all that, I had to infuse it with technology, such as my, my left eye here, and uh, my necromantic magics, which is my right eye here, so that I can see the world, so I'm not completely blind skeleton, you know. Yeah, that's how Plagan came to be. Let's go into the finer points of this lovely model, shall we? So let's start near the bottom. As you can see, the, the cloak, the, the robe, has been used for quite some time, so it has a number of tears in it as the ground drags around. It, it's long enough to hide my, my little feety wheaties, so you can imagine whatever those are for yourself, whether they're fleshy or skeletal or something in between. Let me come up here to my, my lovely hands and my belt of alchemical potions and disease tonics. As you can see, as I mentioned before, my, my hands, they are you know, quite demonish. They are quite fearsome and gruesome, one might say. They have to be to survive in the world filled with monsters and lunatics and... Well, adventurers and stuff coming for my head since I'm a lich, you know. Uh, always ready to attack. Plenty of muscular virality still left in them. And as you can see on this arm here, I have that, uh, as I mentioned, the disease tonic flowing through various tubes to pump into my, my hands and arms. And this one also has it, but you cannot see it behind the cloak because that one is still quite, well, hidden and intact. But you can see I've had some various damage to my arm here from fighting off things wishing to kill me, just like my, my chest here. Uh, but my bag is a simple leather thing with, as you can see, various tonics. And in the bags I have, you know, various supplies to make more of it or uh, other things that survive and continue living. To scroll up further, get a nice view of his head. Everything here, as you can see. This my children, is my heart, and, well, it's no longer there. 
It was decided that we would remove my heart and replace it with this mechanical canister of plague toxin that will allow me to essentially pump it throughout my body. So we had to do that since the heart, of course, could not sustain the plague tonic. It had to be reinforced with a mechanical being like that. So that is this. And also, since many things have tried to kill me by piercing my heart and failing, of course, my rope has been ripped, unfortunate. But no matter, because it's quite, quite heavily reinforced. So even though it looks like glass and you can kind of see it pulsating and glowing there, don't worry. A mere sword won't be able to pierce my heart and kill me. Oh, no. Finally, we have my beautiful, lovely face. Yes, my, my little unhinged jaw that works by magic to form the words. As you can see, it's a sort of hesitates sometimes because the, the magic, well, it, it, it can't quite keep up with what I want to say. And so it's a little bit clunky at times, you know. But never mind. We also have my, my lovely necromantic eye here, which uh, lets me see the various magical traces of the world, and if there's any undead nearby that I can raise. Then you have on my, my left eye, my mechanical eye, uh, allows me to see in various different uh, light wavelengths, like infrared, or I can even turn night vision on if I wanted to. So it's quite a useful tool here. And then this tube in my nose, well, that's so I can smell things, don't worry about that. And you also got the little the cathodes and stuff on my head here, which allows me to, uh, well, honestly, I forget what they do. Yes, I do believe that they were at one point hooked up to my brain, but well, I think the necromantic magics have since replaced my brain with some sort of a more soul-like substance. Yes, yes, that's right. Keeping track after a couple thousand years. Quite hard to do, so, well, don't you know? I haven't cut open my own head. Why would I do that? I haven't checked to see if the brain is still in there or not. Anyway, that's me, Lagan. But, unlike Shiki, I have a couple of other things here that I, uh, well, keep under wraps. <laughs> so I can do this. I can get a little bit breathy at times and release my necromantic uh, toxin through uh, my mouth. Yes, yes, yes. It's like when you're outside in the cold weather and you release a puff of breath. Well, this is my necromantic toxin being exhaled and all of that stuff. Well, if I get real angry and my blood pressure, and well, not blood, it's more like necromantic toxin, but we'll just call it blood pressure for you who uh, are still fleshy beings. If my body temperature and all that rises due to anger, it can ignite that. And uh, yes, yes, well, as you can see here, I can also sort of interlock my fingers to somewhat think about what I am considering doing. Mm. Yes. Ah. What shall we do today? Hmm. <laughs> but that's not all. I can also, if something is just so stupid, I can just, uh, face palm. These damn skeletal minions of mine, I swear to God, why are they so, so easy to kill? Ah, oh, it's like they have no, well, they don't have any muscles, so of course they're easy to kill. Silly me. And last but not least, to go with the rage. The hatred that I feel for those who dare defy me. My eye can blaze. And when combined with this, well, that's when you know I am quite angry. I do love this effect. It is quite lovely. But anyway, those are my emotes, I believe you could call them. I can do them separately, so if I want to be a tuny kind of guy and be like, oh, my right eye is glowing. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Or I can just not do that. Do one or the other. Do both. I can do everything at once, somewhat. The uh, face palm overwrites the uh, 
that thing or whichever one I do last, I suppose, overwrites that. So you can't do them both at the same time. You can see like I have a couple of arms here going at the same time, though. Mm, that's fancy. <laughs> but yeah, this is Plagon. Waiting for a while to get him. I actually had originally wanted to get a model such as this first, but it did take me some time to actually find someone who did decent, like, monster work. Because a lot of the artists, when you're looking for VTuber models, they uh, do a lot of the waifus, the husbandos, the fleshy flesh characters. You don't really see many that have monster components, skeletal components, all that kind of stuff. There are ones out there, don't get me wrong, but not necessarily the art style that I particularly wanted. And I finally found one. And uh, it is quite lovely, if I do say so myself. Mm, in diddly diddly do. Now, this particular model is done by a guy named uh, Ludic Needs. I think I pronounced that right. Uh, you can find him on Tumblr, Twitter, or is it Tumblex? I don't know. The page I'm looking at now is a, it says Tumbex. Tumbex? It's like a weird looking Tumblr kind of thing. Anyway, I will uh, have a link to his stuff in the, uh, the description here. And I think also I have a link to the art of my... Uh, Shiki's model as well, the artist who did that in the description, at least on Twitch, I think I do. If I look real carefully here. Yes, yes, I do. It's uh, done by Eve, uh, Eve Commissions. It might be hard to find them, so make sure you look for, for the link, because if you just search Eve VTuber, I'm not sure you would necessarily find them. Um, yeah. Uh, both of those are also in the YouTube description here. If you want to follow the link to them, you can go ahead and do so. Commission them for your own stuff. Uh, they don't necessarily just do VTuber models either. They can, you know, they can just do rigging, or they can just do the artwork, or they also do, I think they also do emotes and backgrounds, at least the uh, uh, Ludic, at least he does, like, backgrounds and overlays and that kind of stuff, too. Uh, very, very great. But, huh? But now, that's all for that. Yeah, but uh, Plagon, this model will be used when I do darker kind of streams on, uh, on Twitch and whatnot. And you will see the VODs come up here in this YouTube channel. But essentially, I will be playing darker games. And not necessarily horror games, because I'm not quite a horror game kind of guy. But uh, stuff like... For example, Fallout that has a dark undertone or um, uh, kind of grim dark, like zombie games or apocalypse games. Things where when you have the choice to, you can kill innocent people. Stuff like that because Plagon is, well, a monster. And so, of course, we're going to be killing innocents all the damn time, right? <laughs> so you can expect my uh, plug-in model to come out when we're going to be a bad guy. Do all that kind of good stuff. And Cheeky will be when we're still a relatively good little boy, still trying to be a little, little hero and try and find a way to not be a complete loser. Mm. I want immortality. My name is Cheeky. But little bitch. Anyway, that is uh, all I really have to say for these two models right now. As I said, I'll be using them both kind of interchangeably and doing various things. If I feel like I want to play a, a cutesy, fun game, I'll be playing Shiki. If I want to play a, a darker game, I'll be playing as Plagon. Plus the channel name, Plagon Shiki, which is why I'm both. Also, a little bit of extra lore for y'all out there. The names of both of these are kind of fun, I find. So Plagon... I got just from uh, looking up translations of the word plague because uh, I, I very much like plagues and disease and stuff like that. Uh, I find it interesting. Uh, and so I was like, 
I need a new cool username. Like about a decade ago, I decided to look up this stuff, right? So I was like, I'm just going to put plag into a translator and see what uh, language has a cool, like, translation for plag. And so I found out that plagin is German for plag. They, they might actually pronounce it a little bit different. Like, I think it's plagin, something like that. If I remember correctly the, the German pronunciation of it. Uh, I, I just go plagin because uh, it's, it's more of a owned word for me then instead of just a, uh, you know, word I stole from another language, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then shiki, shiki comes from Japanese, of course. Uh, and actually, I got it because I was like, you know what? I really kind of need like a last name to go with this plugin name that I got. And at the time, I was watching this anime called Shiki, which is about uh, corpse demons, which is very, very cool. You should check it out if you're not already. Shiki, uh, I believe it translates to uh, four seasons. There's a couple of other, depending on the kanji or what Shiki means, but I take it to mean four seasons. Uh, so for me personally, this might not be how the way it officially works, but I don't care about how officially it works. I take Plague and Shiki to mean the plague of four seasons. So the year-long plague, yearly plague, however you want to do it. Basically, the plague that persists. It happens year-round. Yes. That means you can't get rid of me, no matter what season it is. But yeah, that is uh, my two... VTuber models here, and this this new one that I really wanted to show off because goddamn I love it. Look at it. Look how beautiful it is. It is so precious, so lovely, so just. Mm. Man, look look at this guy. Look at this guy. So good. So so good. Ah, love him. Incidentally, um. For like the, the skull and the, uh, the, the hardware that's attached to it, I drew inspiration from the uh, Warhammer 40k universe, with, uh, the servitors and the, uh, <clears throat> the, the tech priests and stuff like that. That's why I'm kind of also a little bit hunched over, like the tech priests who carry stuff on their back with all these multiple arms and stuff like that. Actually, in the original concept drawing for Plagin, I had him with a, uh, a hunched over with like this like brass tank of plague fluid on his back that uh, he carried around with him. But for a VTuber model, that would take up a lot of space. And uh, I didn't feel like including that. So it's a plague now. And I'm quite satisfied with it. Yes, indeed, indeed do. Also, the, uh, the eye can move if I do enable it. But I mean, I don't really need the... Uh, the little green eye, the necromantic magic in there does move. But I, I think I like it better when it doesn't move. Because it's more like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's great. I like it. So yes, everyone, yes. Witness the birth of Plagan. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to end this video for now. Kind of dragging on, I'm kind of rambling as I do, as I do. Just uh, go from there. Look forward to streams from Plagin soon. I do need to finish the gunk on Shiki before I decide to start a new game on Plagin. So once we finish the gunk, it's Plagin's turn, baby. <laughs> All right. Bye for now.